welcome pokemon go trainers welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to share you the strategy behind how to build a team for each and every league so as you know in the go battle league you need three pokemon one is the leader second one is the safe switch and the last one is the closer team building depends upon the lead pokemon so the lead pokemon typing decides what back to pokemon are going to be so that lead pokemon can get a good coverage in the negative scenario so in this video i have taken an example of mandabuzz mandabuzz is a dark and flying type pokemon so we have to find out its weaknesses weaknesses are rock electric ice and fairy type so back to pokemon should cover its weaknesses so here the coverage pokemons for the mandabuzz will be ground typing poison typing and the steel typing below are the some of the pokemon are Whiskash, Swampert, Stunface, Clotsire and Nidoqueen which can be paired with the Mandibus. So in the first team I have paired Mandibus with the Clotsire and the Swampert. So in this team Clotsire is a safe switch and Swampert is a closer. Clotsire can cover the electric weakness, ice typing weakness because of its stone age and fairy type weaknesses because of its poison typing move. So moving towards the Swampert, Swampert is very good closer because of its ground and water typing it has a spammy move which is mud shot and hydro cannon and earthquake which can provide better coverage for mandibus weaknesses like electric ice rock and somewhat poison typing because of its hydro cannon spammy move this team not only covers the weaknesses of the mandibus but also covers the weakness of each other for an example swampert is weak to grass typing so cloth sire can provide a coverage and also Mandibus is a hard answer to the grass typing and as cloth sire is a ground typing it's weak to town type and water type which can be provide coverage by the swampert and Mandibus. so overall this team is very balanced and it provides coverage for each other weaknesses very well now moving towards the next team the second team consists of Mandibus, stunfisk and nidoqueen so stunfisk is a steel type so it has a better coverage for the fairy type and it has a move rock slide which can provide coverage against the ice type weaknesses and its earthquake can provide coverage against the electric type weaknesses at the same time nidoqueen is being a poison type pokemon it can provide good coverage against the fairy typing and because of earth power it can provide good coverage against the electric type so at the same time, this Pokemon not only covers the weakness of the Mandibus but covers the each other weaknesses very well. So like an example, Stunfisk is weak to fighting type. Mandibus with Air Slash can cover its weakness and Nidoqueen being a poison type Pokemon, it resists fighting type moves. So as Nidoqueen is weak to psychic type Pokemon, so Stunfisk being steel type can resist psychic moves and Mandibus as a dark typing pokemon provides great coverage for the psychic type pokemons. Hopefully you have liked this informative video. If you do, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming with more such informative video regarding the PvP battles in future as well. So thank you trainers. Have a good day. Bye.